Thank you so much for staying with us this midday. Some marketing companies out there continue peddling untrue COVID treatment claims. Well, the FTC did reach a settlement with distributors of one company's products. But here to break down this case for us today is Randy Hutchinson with the Better Business Bureau. Hey, Randy, how are you? Yeah, good. Oh, good to hear that. Randy, can you tell us a little bit more about this specific case? Well, since the pandemic began uh, several years ago, the FTC has sent over 400 warning letters to companies that it said were making unsubstantiated claims that their products could prevent, treat, or cure COVID. One letter went to a multi-level marketing company uh, called Duterra that sells dietary products, uh, dietary supplements, other products through its distributors. It advised the company that it also, in addition claims the company itself may be making, it needs to be uh, sure that its distributors, the people who are actually selling the product to consumers, aren't making unsubstantiated claims. Uh, well, in fact, some of them were. In March, the FTC settled lawsuits against three current or former distributors of Duterra's products who were making bogus claims. In this case, they also happened to be medical practitioners, which to some extent probably made the situation worse because it certainly uh, gave them more credibility with their clients. Uh, one is a nurse, one is a nurse practitioner, uh, one is a pediatrician, uh, and they touted their medical expertise in making the claims about the effectiveness of their products in treating COVID. So, Randy, I know I heard you say some of the claims. Can you talk about some of those claims that they were making? Yeah, here's a verbatim one. There's lots of studies that show that oregano is effective against the coronavirus, which is the family that COVID is in. And, of course, the product they were peddling uh, had oregano in it. Uh, two of the three people who settled the claims with the FTC were also saying that their products were effective in uh, treating and curing long haul COVID, which of course is a, a pretty big problem for many people these days. Yeah, absolutely it is. I still have friends who talk about symptoms, but what is your advice yeah. when it comes to COVID actual yeah. treatment plans and claims? Well, the best source for finding out uh, how to treat COVID, prevent it, cure it, anything that you need to know about it is the FDA, is the Food and Drug Administration's website. Uh, be skeptical of miracle health care claims, whether they're to treat COVID or any other serious illness. Uh, in particular, folks need to remember that there are no dietary supplements that have been proven to treat uh, or prevent or cure COVID. Uh, when there's a medical breakthrough for a serious illness like this, like any other one, you're not going to hear about it first through an ad or a sales pitch. You're going to see it in the headlines, legitimate headlines. Uh, if you're curious about a product that claims to treat any disease, talk to your doctor or health care provider about it. Understand that some, I don't know about these, but some unproven products and treatments could be dangerous. Uh, they could also interact negatively with other uh, medications that uh, you may be taking uh, uh, that's been prescribed by a doctor. Yeah, definitely want to check it out. Randy, some great advice there. Thank you so much for joining us this midday.